she's she's wondering what I'm doing in here. Um, today is the day. Uh, let me put some stuff down. Today is the day that we figure out her feet a little bit more. So to give you guys, um, if you haven't watched uh, the first part of her story, how she came to us, I cover a little bit of her hoof stuff in that video. And um, <laughs> Zeus, just hanging out, being good company. Um, I cover a little bit about her hoof stuff in uh, that video, but uh, we're going to get into uh, how she uh, is now after I think I think I've done three trims: one when I first went to her, one when she got here, and then another one about a week and a half or so ago. Hello, nice to see you made it over. Yeah. Hey. So anyways, um, this will be her fourth trim with me. And uh, to talk a little, bit about her, a little bit about her hooves, I don't think they were maintained well at all. Um, and the proof is in the condition. Now, they could be a lot worse for sure. So she's kind of lucky the way that she did grow. Um, she just kind of went upwards instead of flared outwards and stuff, which is a lot more destructive. And um, the, uh, the story that was told to me was that she was going to be trimmed, but uh, they couldn't get uh, the vet and the farrier to line up because they wanted to tranquilize her to, uh, to get her to pick her feet up and stuff. I'm not really seeing so much of that problem, but I can understand um, it is so much easier to to do that kind of thing and and uh, and I've dealt with enough horses uh, some that have been I mean I probably maybe in the amount of time that I've been doing it the variety I think maybe two I would never go back to just complete lack of good training. Uh, and it being a safety issue, major safety issue, I just would never bother going back unless it was resolved. Um, I usually work horses through little things, which is relative a relative term. Um, but some horses can just be sort of worked with gently and safely. Hi, baby. What are you just hanging out or what? Just sniffing my tools. Everything smells like something. Those are sharp. You're not going to want to play with those. No. You had your chance. Take a hike. No thanks. So, uh, I'll work them through some things, but some stuff where they are legitimately trying their hardest to bite. And you hear a lot of stories. So, we're going to talk a little bit. If I'm going to have to talk about trimming, um, we also have to tell the bad stories as well. And if you look around enough, you'll find um, quite a few stories out there where farriers have had their shoulders or their backs bitten. Um, some get picked up and thrown. And uh, so it can be very dangerous, but you know, overall, I'd say 90% of the horses that uh, I work with or get to work with, you just, you gotta get in on this, don't you? You gotta be, you gotta be the, the major ham. I'm just kidding, she just wants to be kind of close, wondering what's going on. 90% uh, of the horses that I've worked with have been pretty darn good, uh, or just need some minor correction and help. Uh, understanding that it's okay to pick up their feet. Fury is a great example. I mean, um, one of the stories I heard about him is that uh, if you tried to trim him, he'd rear up, so. 
go and check out my stuff. And Zeus maybe. And I will just come over here and discourage her. Give her a pat on the butt. Okay, let's get on with this hoof stuff. Now, uh, I have some footage from the past that I'm going to show you first. I'm just gonna kind of splice that into here and then you guys will be back with me in the present time. So, uh, okay, let's talk about what she's at right now. So after three trims, um, now she's standing a little weird, but oh, there we go. Okay, so one hoof is definitely higher than the other. And the, the main concern um, is that she has, hadn't been trimmed in a long time. And you can see in the last video uh, that she essentially looked like she had what's called club foot. Now, I'll cover a little bit more theory in a minute here, but we're just going to take a look at a few indications of a uh, problem. And uh, let's talk about the dark foot first. Okay. So let's see if I can set the camera up to, to just point at and hopefully she doesn't move. Okay. Something like that. And so one of the things that we can see here, uh, obviously, at least obvious to me, oh, there goes a motorcycle. And see, being up in this first paddock is really good for her because she gets to hear all the really noisy people that drive by. You gonna live? Huh? Did you make it? No. See, I moved the camera away from her, so I taught her that the camera would move if she bugs it. Oh. All right, well, we got her back. This is super flexible. She's always scratching something. Okay, come on around. Or forward or whatever. No, 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 no. Don't touch. No, no. Ah, ah, ah. You'll knock those over. I know it. You'll freak yourself out. Okay. Now, um, some of you might say, why don't you just tie her up so she doesn't move? And um, I've said it before that I almost never, never tie horses up for much of anything. Now, I don't say you shouldn't or can't or it's really bad or something, but I just don't. I prefer them to have a, a choice because um, usually I'm not going to be in some in such a super duper rush that I need to do that. And if I do need to do that, well, then you've already got some gaps in your training anyways. Okay, so back to her feet. I'm always going off topic. So as you can see, <clears throat> they're pretty upright. And the reason we can tell they're upright She's a little bit forward on her toe at the moment, so it looks a little bit even weirder. But um, the coronet band, which I'm going to do the theory on in just a second, uh, is very, very straight across rather than having an angle to it. Say, for example, the back foot. It's hard to tell at this angle, so I'll come around. And you can see it slopes back, right? Now there's problems with her back feet as well, especially all that red at the top there. Um, but even that one too sloped downwards at the back and whereas her front foot is much straighter across looks like a, a block rather than sort of a triangle sort of shape so now that we know that and the uh, the other foot is not as bad but still not good the other thing the other indication that we have of that no just God, you gotta look at everything eh okay we need to come in behind her watch out Zeus just kidding she probably won't do anything good job dancer you're really uh playing to your own tune Can you come back and eat, please? No. No. You've come up too rough. 
Come up gentle and I'll let you. Ah, ah. All right, carry on. Go eat. Now we have to look at the back of her feet here. <clears throat> and uh, right there. Might be a good angle. You see on that left foot. Oh. oh, crazy, honestly. Stop being so curious, little youngster. No, well, you guys get to just be part of the training process of some horses that are edgy. I'll come around her a bit. She's getting a little bothered by some flies or something, I guess, as well. Get ready to come back down. Now you can see, hopefully you can see. Maybe she'll just eat or not. Okay, let's stay here before she runs off again. You can see how high her heels are because her frog isn't even touching the ground. And I'll talk about the anatomy in a second in case you guys are getting confused. On her left foot and then both feet have cracks running up the middle. And I'll see if I can just get a slightly closer view of that for you. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a crack running up the middle of the back of the foot there. And a crack running up the back of the foot there. Okay. All right, settle down there. Okay, let's talk theory. Let me turn the camera off for a second. I'll flick back on. Maybe there. Okay, so um, I got a whiteboard just for this topic. This is not going to be a um, sort of a full out full out trimming sort of course or an understanding of everything to do with hooves. It's going to be an understanding of her hooves and how um, and I'm definitely not here to tell you exactly how to trim hooves. I mean at least not yet. I'm still thinking on how I might sort of talk about trimming but at the very least I can talk about um, how to deal with her hooves and why we can tell that there's something wrong with them. So, I have a whiteboard and I'm going to make a couple of quick drawings Hi What? You okay? Alright, so let's do this. <clears throat> so, first thing we need to do is draw out sort of uh, a normal hoof. Which might look a little like that. Now I'm not saying I'm the best drawer on the planet, but I think I'm okay. All right, so a few things to consider is that um, this okay this thanks a lot dollar store the area here the back that's the heel and that's that's the toe okay super simple somewhere in here is called the quarter and then this that does it piece of junk i do have another one though let's go with purple for now somewhere in here ooh that's better okay is called the pillar so let's label these what the heck pillar toe don't mind my Terrible writing. Okay, so something like that, okay? So when I start talking about this stuff, it's gonna make some kind of sense. Now, if we picture the bottom of the foot, and if you're not into horses and you don't clean hooves and you don't mess with them, 
then it might be hard to visualize this, but uh, when we get into this a little bit further, um, with her hooves I'll show you, but at the very least you got to understand a bit of the, the, the anatomy. So um, if we look at the bottom of the hoof, so I'm going to draw the bottom of the hoof. As we usually see it, in very basic terms, for now, let's do two different colors here. All right. Now, on this, this part here, this is the, when you look at the bottom of the, the hoof, you're going to see, um, this, this big spongy looking eraser looking thing is called the frog. Okay, so that's the frog. These, this is the outside, this is the outside hoof wall. And then this orange one uh, is essentially where the, the sole of the hoof, so this is the sole of the hoof, frog sole wall. Uh, and I'll talk about these in a second. Uh, where the sole kind of ends and connects up to the, the wall. And uh, I'm being very, very simple here. Again, this isn't a full out trimming, but I need you guys to understand a little bit before we move forward to understanding why her feet are so messed up and how we can tell. Because we're really trying to understand how, uh, what the deformities mean and how to even determine that they're there. So anyways, so you got the hoof wall and then they curl around to the back, which is the heel. And they curl up into here into what is called the bars. So let's label everything again. Frog. Wall. Sole. And um, this is messy. Bars. Okay. So there we go. <laughs> Clear as mud, right? Sole. Um, bars, these two bits here, frog, and uh, the wall. Okay, so um, first thing we can tell that there's a problem with her feet, and uh, we have to then determine whether or not it's what's called a club foot or a stump foot, is that the fact that her, her hoof doesn't look anything like this really. Her hoof looks more like like that and then I'd say maybe the wall does a little more of this this and then that let me get rid of that her hoof looks more like that um, in fact maybe in the beginning this was even more up here a little bit more piece like square so First, there's a shape problem. Uh, so we can tell right away from the outside. The second thing is, is when I was showing you the video from the back, um, if we were to sort of draw uh, the frog kind of here, and this comes up like this. There's a cornet band and the rest of the leg goes up. Um, there's that big crack that sort of exists in the middle here. These cracks happen, one, because there's too much frog. And two, because the, the forces of physics are essentially going that way and that way too much. Now there should be some, there's always flex in the hoof, the hoof is always going to move around a lot. Um, but if it moves too much and there's just way too much frog here, way too much frog, it's going to be splitting. Now, the more frog, the more useless frog that you have that's doing the splitting, the more leverage it has on the rest of it. And in some cases, horses, they'll split right up their, um, 
you know, the back of their foot, right through the bulbs. The, this portion here is called the bulb. The bulbs, there's two bulbs. Um, and they'll, they'll split right up there. It's terrible, it's terrible, terrible. So that's how we can determine from the outside without even looking at the bottom of the hoof, um, what's going on. So uh, we need to look at that. Now, the determination of whether or not this is a club foot was um, done a while ago, supposedly. From my understanding, it was done uh, with an x-ray. And uh, the vet had determined this is not a club foot, it's just a foot that needs a good trim. Um, the other way that we are able to tell is I can show you, uh, and I'll probably insert a clip somewhere in my little monologue here, of how I was able to determine really, really quickly that it's definitely not a club foot. And that's due to the fact that within the sole and these bars there was some material here and here come on okay focus camera and if you sort of dug away and sort of looked at it there was enough uh, indications like cracks or separation to tell me that the material did not belong there. Um, anything that is coming off, unless it's protecting something underneath, which is maybe 60-40 that it is and then it isn't, um, you usually just can kind of have it come off. Um, usually it'll just flick right off even. You don't even have to cut it off. In her case, because her feet were left for so long, uh, there's a lot of sort of filing and, and chipping away at the bottom uh, to get the really hard calloused stuff because remember they weigh a lot they step down and all that material that grows here gets squished down so anyways i better not go too much further or i'll i'll really confuse you let's go take a look at her feet hopefully this mess helps a little i will refine this i can't believe they sell a pen with this thing a brand new pen with this board and it doesn't work. Thanks, dollar store. Total junk. Okay. Old sock. I'll clean this off. Because I'll probably need to draw some more stuff soon. I think this video is going to be kind of long. I hope you guys brought along a, a drink or something. Okay, let's get going. Okay, we are uh, we're set up. You guys are up high because she's such a curious horse that I don't want her to mess with the camera when I'm not looking. Um, I've got a simple rasp, my hoof pick, and my other tools on here, a knife, a typical hoof knife, and uh, mini nippers, great tool. So that's all I really got on me at the moment to take a look at things. She's a little edgy, but I think she'll come down. Uh, so we're going to take a look at her feet. And one more tool that I have at my disposal is my GoPro. So I'll bring that down with me when I go to pick up her feet. And you guys can then see what she looks like. So I'll turn this thing on and get going. So, you can see here, she's got this massive crack and a large frog. Oh, there you go. So I don't need to hang under her foot for too long, but I do need it. So she can ask for her back, but I do need her to be okay with me having a hold of it. And so there you can see one bar. Oh, stop moving. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Short term, eh? You can do better than that girl. And this is her worst of two feet. And then the other bar there that's just crumpling over into the frog. So that's the before picture. I'll give her her foot back. And we gotta get to trimming that out. Um, actually, I'll show you around to the other side. Take a look. 
is a little touchier on this side, but I think we can get her to lift her foot up. Oh, she left. Okay, well, we'll wait for her to come back. Okay, she's on her way back. See, she comes in. Good. Okay, let's give this another go. I'm gonna take a look at the bottom of this hoof. There we go. It's a little bit full of stuff, but uh, this again, um, large, large crack in the middle. I mean, it is normal to have a crack, but it's going a little far. Um, you can see there. Oh, I'll give it back. It's just quite nice to hold it up for a little while there. That's nice. Another go with that. Just ask nicely. A little vibration in my hand. Um, that out. Okay, so it's a little cleaner on this side, and you can see here that her, her bar is really overgrown and curling inwards, and uh, it needs a trim, and be cleaned up and straightened up. So that gives us the, uh, the initial bits we need to go with. To figure out, um, she's playing with my rasp. So now we know what we're going with. So I'm going to give her a really quick trim here, and uh, she's licking it. Will you stop licking my rasp, please? We'll see where we end up. It'd be impossible to get this on camera, so... Uh... Okay, I've given a real quick initial trim. She doesn't like it because I'm not done yet, and I'll show you why. I just need her foot back. But I've taken her heels down a little bit. The problem is, is that now she's sort of standing on her frog. And that's super uncomfortable for horses. So you can't. Hi, move out. See? She's going to be uncomfortable with that. And I need to get to the rest. So when trimming out long walls, um, you have to make sure that you get the frog down as well. So that's what I'm going to do next if she'll uh, let me. Okay, we're, we're on GoPro shaky footage time. As you can see, she's quite interested in her own foot. Now it's mostly done. Mostly. And uh, I'll bring the other camera out, but I wanted to show you guys the bottom. And look at her lift up her foot for me. See, so we know that the frog is sitting a little below the rest. I still think her heels can come down a little more. And, uh, oh. and, uh, but that's kind of, that's most of the way now. I'll bring out the other camera in a second. We're going to do the other foot. <laughs> Okay, I'm part way through her second front foot. I wanted to show you guys something really quickly. Come here, guys. Hey. Good girl. 
So you see right there how there's so much stuff stuck under there. I've done most of the frog. I'm working on the heels and you can see there's a bunch of stuff stuck in what's called the seat of the corn which tells me that there's a big cavity in there. Um, so I know that I need to clean it out. Otherwise that stuff will never come back out. So that's my next step. I'm going to show you what this foot looks like. Probably the next shot will be where she's done. Okay. Last GoPro shot and then I'll get the real camera out. Come on Gracie. Good girl. Okay, so this is what we're finished off with here. And the GoPro is not going to... But it's not going to really focus that well. Okay, okay. Okay, give me back. There, all right. But there's a massive crack right here. Look oh, those crows. There's four of them now. So all of this material here will come out. And some of this material here. Um, and our frog's a little weird looking right now, but I'm okay with that. I've managed to relieve some of the stress that's causing this to crack here. And our heels are... I think I'll balance them just a little better on this side. Um, but overall, that's pretty good. It's much better. Slightly better angles. So I'll do that one little bit and then we'll get the real camera out. Okay. Done, but... Uh, I'll put her on a slightly shorter trimming schedule. Probably about another week from now I'll, I'll go at this again. But you can see, I mean, there's still quite a bit of work to do. And it's a big change. Even this is a big change. I mean, she's probably come down another half inch in the back. Um, and when you when you trim like this it's a little bit hard to get them perfectly balanced so i'm going to let her sort of settle into how her feet fit and uh readdress each item uh a week from now and uh take a look from the side really quickly but i mean she she can feel it you can tell she can feel it because she's sort of walking around a little bit tentatively wondering what's why it feels so different and uh, smells different. So, but uh, if we look from the side, it's kind of hard because it's sort of softer ground. And she just keeps sniffing all the bits of frog and stuff. I've... Oh man, let's go this way. And she goes the other way. All right. So, slightly different angles. Rounded off the toe a little bit. And, um... Hi, baby. How you feeling? Oops, sorry. Here. Is that better? Yeah. It's noisy today, isn't it? A lot of trucks and motorcycles today. Really noisy. Um, so, let me get a quick side view. You can see that they're looking a little bit more normal. A little bit. <laughs> oh God. So I don't know, hopefully that helps you guys understand just one, one thing about hoof trimming or one horse. I mean, cause there's a lot going on, a lot to think about and a lot to get done. And she still needs more. I mean, probably over the next month or so, she'll have at least at least two to three more trims that are just sort of small just to fix the imbalances but that just looks better already you know she looks a little more normal so her back feet aren't too bad there's not really much to do at the moment so i'll let her be but we'll let her kind of grow into those feet a little and uh, and take it from there so Yep. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or thoughts or something like that, feel free to let me know. I'm uh, very open to discussion about hooves. talk about it an awful lot.
So thanks for watching this far and I'll see you guys again pretty soon.